This is the raid array for my video toaster. A couple of years ago, I think, one of the drives failed. So the raid array failed. And I thought, well, no problem, I'll just rebuild the array. And it turns out I had it configured as RAID 0, and I'm not sure why. So obviously rebuilding was out of the <coughs> excuse me, out of the question. So I tried everything I could to revive that drive and couldn't get anywhere. I ended up abandoning the project until I had more time to work on it, which happened to be today. And so I fired it up and that drive is working. But there was no data on the array, and I'm not sure why. So I'm rebuilding the array as a RAID 5 so that at least next time if I have one drive fail I can rebuild the array. And of course last time I wouldn't have a problem if I had a means to back everything up and I was working on that when the drive failed. So first order of business after getting this working again is going to be setting up some means to do a back, proper backup. This whole project this has been a disaster. When I first set this machine up, I had a very hard time getting the Video Toaster 4.3 software working. I have multiple bad compact disks with that software on it, and multiple bad floppy disks. And I think I have that sorted out, but the one disk that looks the most promising has mechanical damage, much like this other disk here. This is not Video Toaster 4.3, but it's all of the other files I used when I set this thing up the last time. Now this disk was on one of those spindles where you stack all of your CDs in a temperature control place on a shelf. And for whatever reason, there's some kind of stress crack in the plastic. And of course it ruined the media this disc will never work. And that's exactly what the Video Toaster 4.3 disc that I think would be the most promising to work. I think, anyway, that disc has the same exact failure. It was stored on a different spindle on a different shelf. Neither one of these was subject to any kind of mechanical damage. And this is just another failure method, I suppose, of CD-ROM backups. I've had uh, several discs where the media peeled off for no apparent reason, and now I've got this. But when this array is done rebuilding, I guess I'll go about trying to get a CD-ROM that works. My, uh, my CD-ROM drive doesn't seem to be working anymore either. Here's an older version of the, uh, not an older version, but a different copy of the Video Toaster 4.3 software and I noted that it has corrupt images which I guess if that's picture images I'm not too concerned at least it'll work but now the CD-ROM drive does not work so I'll have to figure that one out too so hopefully one of these days I will have a video toaster again <laughs>